Hello everybody. Today I'm going to go over basic fantasy and also some of the modifications that I have made, um, just some things I've implemented, just to make the game a little, I feel a little easier. I'm currently DMing this game. I picked this up at Drive Through RPG, or was it Amazon? But anyway, it was a, a number of months ago now, and it was under ten dollars though for this entire book, which is yeah over 160 pages. Basic Fantasy has been around now for about 20 years. This is the third edition of the game. It's a blend between the basic Dungeons and Dragons and advanced Dungeons and Dragons. So you could still use a lot of the resource books from the other versions, the uh, basic Dungeons and Dragons and advanced Dungeons and Dragons. So that if you wanted to use some of the monsters, for example, in the other systems, advanced Dungeons and Dragons, the only thing you'd really have to convert would be the um, armor class because it's Thaco in those systems. But in this one, it simply goes by your armor class. Whatever number your armor class is, is the number you need to, to hit on a d20. So for example, a chain mail and a shield in this system would be a 14. Your armor class would be a 14. So you need a 14 or higher to hit. Here's an example of a creature stats in basic fantasy. So you have a were rat, so his armor class would be 13. So you need 13 or higher. Hit dice is three, uh, similar to the other system in regards to the original Dungeons and Dragons. It's a, an eight sider per uh, hit dice. Number of attacks, damage, movement, save as, a fighter third level, morale, treasure type, XP. So you can see that the similarities are all there. In regards to character creation, once again, the similarity is you'll recognize uh, ability scores. So 3 to 18, just like the original Dungeons and Dragons, with the same bonus penalties, really, uh, from basic D&D. &D. So you have 3 and minus 3, 9 to 12 is no bonus, 3 to 15 plus 1, 16 to 17 plus 2, and then 18 plus 3. For more of the advanced Dungeons and Dragons influence, you'll see that in basic fantasy, you still pick a race and then a class. So that's one of the differences between, you'll see in this game that they kind of deviate from how the basic set was, the basic Dungeons and Dragons, where dwarf was essentially your race and class. But in basic fantasy, you choose your race, whether it be a dwarf, elf, halfling, or human, and then you choose your, your class, like advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Now, what I wanted to talk about for Basic Fantasy was skills, doing skill checks. So for the Thief abilities, for example, it falls very much in line with Basic, um, basic Dungeons and Dragons. So you have all the percentile checks to make for one trying to perform certain tasks like pickpocket, remove traps, etc. I went with more of a streamlined um, modification and I took from the 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons and I do the advantage-disadvantage system. Adding, so for a thief, for example, the, how it would work is that the skill test would be based on the difficulty of the skill test determined by the DM. So if it'd be a d20, you'd be rolling a d20 and you would have to make a if it's an easy task, a five or higher, a moderate difficulty, 10 or higher, hard, 15, and then hardest is 20 or higher. Now, for example, if the thief character wished to move silently, instead of using the percentile, they would roll, uh, for move silently, it'd be dexterity, so that whatever dexterity attribute, ability bonus they have, plus, their level. So they roll a d20 and add that, and if they made the number or higher, they were successful at making that. So I use that though for all skills, but the difference of for the thief, the uh, being a, 
specialty class is that for these, they get to add their level. So it's not just their attribute bonus. But when, let's say if uh, this character, this thief wanted to perform a charisma skill test role, it would be the determined difficulty, five, 10, 15, or 20, and they would roll a 20 cider adding their charisma bonus, but no level. So I am, I have completely essentially changed over the, how the skills work entirely within basic fantasy. And so far I've DM'd just over 40 hours of this game with my gaming group, which is a, consists of three players, uh, one who's a veteran player, and then two uh, players who are quite new to RPGs in general. And by doing it this way, by kind of streamlining with the whole advantage disadvantage system with that with the skill checks, doing the D20 based skill checks, it really seems to um, help the newer players understand what's going on a little easier. So, um, so far it's working really well. I've also made it that players can get skills where they have some sort of expertise in. So, and that would be based off the character's intelligence. So whatever their intelligence bo bonus is. So they can, they can have a number of expert, expert skills, one plus whatever their intelligence modifier is. And then how that would work, it would work the exact same thing as how, for example, a thief would use their skills. So let's say there's a fighter character and they would like to get a skill or they have an opportunity, whether through an NPC or magic, whatever, that they want to learn a skill, let's say um, persuasion. So that would allow that character then on a D20 check to add their charisma, but because it's an expert skill, they would also get to add their, their level. So that's just a way of, that's just a way of kind of keeping things consistent throughout all the different um, skill checks. And so it being the advantage disadvantage system, there will be times where, for whatever the circumstances may be, that it would be more, uh, whatever's happening would be more in favor for the player. So they would be, they would have advantage. So they would roll two 20 siders and take the highest one, just like the, just like how they do it in D and D 5e. And then for disadvantage. So they would roll two dice and take the lowest number. So that's how it's the advantage disadvantage system. Like I said, it's been over 40 hours so far. We've been playing uh, this current campaign and it seems to really be working. I, I haven't really found any, any, um, any holes in it yet. I have actually typed out my home rules for basic fantasy on a Google doc, which I can certainly share. I'll probably put a link to it in the, in the body down below, but I'd like to hear from you as well. Tell me what you do. If you play basic fantasy, if you like basic fantasy, do you play it exactly as is? What are some of your home rules? I'd love to hear what other people do so I can uh, draw from that as well. Anything to make the game better, a little more exciting, streamlined. However, I like to hear about it. So that's really just about it. I just wanted to quickly just go over basic fantasy and what's been going on with my game group in regards to the changes that I've made for our skill tests. So thanks for watching everybody. Take care. Bye-bye for now.